Jesus Christ, Vampire Hunter. Whenever I bring this movie up, people assume that I'm talking about Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. But to be fair, this movie came out over a decade before it. Jesus Christ is baptizing people in the ocean when a bunch of lesbian-hating vampires show up and kick them in the nuts. He then goes kung fu on their asses Body of Christ. and drives off on a moped. He cuts his hair, shaves his beard, gets earrings, and breaks out into a shitty Broadway musical number. Here I am at my destination. Get to stop this exsanguination. And if you're sucked in by now, your soul already belongs to the dark fires of hell. So now, my brethren, let us all bow our heads in shame as our Lord and Savior joins forces with a gun-toting Mary Magnum and a Mexican wrestler named Santos who has been blessed with his small plane certification to battle the unholy living dead who have been bestowed the miraculous gift of walking in the daylight due to budgetary restraints. Let us kneel at the altar as we watch the Son of God carry firewood to music that sounds like the theme from Shaft. Who is that smooth savior that'll open up a can of Armageddon on your ass? Christ! You're damn right. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to kick atheists in the face. And speak to his father in heaven through with a bowl of vanilla ice cream. You need help, Jesus. For whoever shall watch it this picture shall have their brain cells perish and say an everlasting what the shit. Blessed be the mother Mary who gives him obnoxious phone calls. I was just wanting to check up on you. Are you keeping busy then, dear? Yeah, mom. And the fashion designer who giveth him a fancy wardrobe. And lead him not into temptation from a man in a dress. Brothers and sisters, before you give your tithing dollars unto this sacrilege, ask yourself what would Jesus do? There is a beast living in my video collection. A filthy beast whose name is... That's right. Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter is the beast that wants to consume you and spit you out into the eternal fires of hell. Where for all eternity, your flesh will be ripped from your body by grotesque serpents with razor sharp teeth. And for all eternity, your blood will boil, your bones will burn, and your burrow reduced to a putrid black slime. And for what? For 90 minutes of weakness that led you to watch this unholy abomination. But it's a pretty entertaining movie, so I say check it out.